Have you ever thought of something that can spoil something good that eventually the good gets messed up? Have you ever thought of something? Something is good, but there's just one thing that latches onto that thing. And that thing destroys the whole thing. At times it's hunger, hot tempered, spoils everything. At the point of major breakthrough, you just get angry and you go back again. Just anger. At times, some of you, God brings you to a destiny-defining relationship and you spoil it. It's a destiny-defining relationship. That relationship has the ability to take you to your next level in God. And God has designed the plot already. He has crafted that this person is going to take you to your next phase. But because of little spot, you break them prematurely. You break them prematurely. So those relationships that are destiny defining, you will find out that you will not be able to come to that phase because you have destroyed that link. And some of us, we have also prematurely spoiled some links in our life. And that's why we are hanging now. Because there's no way future doors can open. I've seen times in my life where God had to give me opportunity to repent of breaking some relationships prematurely. You just have to repent. If not, other doors will not open. And you know, understand that, you know, at times when something is blossoming, that's when those things appear. They want to spoil good, good things. They want to spoil good things. So oftentimes, times when something is getting good, I try to check my heart. I don't want anything in me to spoil what God is doing. Several times I've told God, I said, see God, I don't want to be the one to stop you from what you want to do. I don't want to stop or spoil your work. You understand? When I mean your work, it's not just ministry. Whatever God is doing. God may be moving in your life in a wonderful career and a profession and you spoil it because of wrong attitudes, because of covetousness. You know? You are okay. Oh, they are paying you well. Oh. You go and do deal with someone. Secret deal and you spoil the whole thing. It takes you 10 years back in your profession. Because of little greed. You quickly want to build a house or something. Just one stupid decision. Messes the whole thing up. Some of us, we, we don't descend, we don't wait for proper interpretation of opportunities. God puts you in a company and he wants you to stay there. You see another door to go to another one. You don't check if it's the right time. You t- quickly terminate that because of a better opportunity. You enter there and you enter into a trap. There are some things I call destiny trap. They trap you. You don't go anywhere. It was a setup. You were still supposed to be in that company until the right time. Where God will by himself open another door. Not by you. Not by your connections. Not by your calculations. Not by your smartness. But by being patient. Then God opens it and then you move into your season. By leading. 